Supreme Court of Canada, the Parliament of Canada, the province of, of this uh, province of British Columbia, and the benchers have all decided to approve the uh, program, the law school program, and therefore there should be no question that it should be approved. He's a very good man and doesn't deserve to be going through all of this. And many of the people at Trinity are good people. Trinity Western University, it's a, the media story that keeps giving, really. Now, as you know, it's a Christian school. And it requires that students sign a pledge refraining from sex outside of marriage. Uh, this actually concerns heterosexuals mainly, but it would, of course, affect gay people in, in same-sex marriages, too. The, the case um, has been debated numerous times with numerous decisions and reverses of decisions. But now the Law Society of British Columbia... Uh, following other law societies, has voted to stop Trinity Western from being able to, to hand out law degrees. The story is far from over. Janet at Buckingham is a professor at Trinity, also a highly experienced and respected lawyer. She joins me now from Ottawa. Janet, I, I can't quite understand why people are so passionate. Look, you don't have to go to this university. If you go, you, you sign a pledge, you live a certain lifestyle. You don't want to go there, don't go there. There's a very good chance that if, if people did uh, graduate from in, in this program, a lot of law firms would not employ them because they would know about it. But why this obsession with controlling everything that goes on? Well, law schools have, for many years, been a very secular environment. I went to law school several decades ago, and I found it a very secular environment. I was a Christian when I went to law school. I found it a very secular environment, and it has only become more so. And I think uh, it sees itself as being a cultural gatekeeper in society. Yeah. Uh, but it is strange because there are several Christian universities across Canada that have many programs, including Trinity Western. We have other professional programs, education, nursing, business, counseling, psychology. And uh, obviously education was controversial. We went to the Supreme Court of Canada over that one. Um, but there's no particular reason, in our view, why a law school should be treated than other types of professional education. But law professors and law schools do consider themselves to be different. Mm. There's only one argument I've heard put forward that I think ha has any sort of uh, consistency or, or elegance or integrity. And that is that if you are teaching the law, if you uphold the law as being the final arbiter of what, it, what is right and wrong, if the law says that marriage between people of the same gender is, is appropriate, then that should not be contradicted either implicitly or explicitly within a law school. I'm not saying I support that argument, but I do see it there. Well, Trinity Western University is a university. It's not a seminary. It is a, a liberal arts university, and it teaches um, things the way they are. And a law school always will teach the law the way it is, but encourage students to have a, a critical approach. Mm -hmm. Is this the way the law should be? What are the implications of this? It happens in a wide variety of areas, not just marriage. Obviously, you know, marriage and same-sex marriage are a, a, honestly a tiny part of a much larger curriculum at law school. Uh, Trinity Western University intends to teach the law the way it is, the charter the way it has been interpreted. Um, that doesn't mean that every single lawyer has to agree with the way the law is. Mm. Lawyers have plenty of criticisms of law, no matter what it is. And I don't really think that same-sex marriage is any different than a wide variety of other areas that professors and law students and lawyers might critique. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair, fair point. I mean, as you say, and this is not confined or unique to Trinity Western, there's an obsession over this issue. And you know, I've just come back from the UK and... and met with quite a few old friends who are in long-term gay partnerships, one of them in, in a marriage, and, and they all said the same thing. Why can't the issue just go away? And the victories have been won by the gay community. It does seem that this is triumphalism, that you, you will have to agree with us. And, and that, that's not how pluralism and democracy works. It has, it has rough edges. How many gay people, um, especially those living in a, in a gay marriage, would actually apply to go to such a law school in the first place? Well, it would presumably be a, a fairly small number. <laughs> if any. Uh, if, if any. Uh, there are gay and lesbian students at Trinity Western. Yep. Uh, they are also practicing Christians and they're working out their sexual identity and their Christian identity in parallel. Um, there does seem to be a certain level of, uh, of you call it triumphalism, I would say anti-diversity mm. uh, approach. Um, it, it's not enough that 
a civil marriage be enacted in the laws of Canada, those who might oppose it or have a different view on the basis of their religion must be silenced, must mm. somehow be stopped, that somehow Trinity Western University poses a danger to Canadian society. Well, I have to say I have graduate students, my alumni, who have gone on to law school and are now practicing lawyers. Mm. Uh, we have not seen anything dangerous if there were there are hundreds of lawyers that are trinity western alumni if they posed a danger to canadian society surely we would know that by now well, uh, of course i mean we, we know that um, the foundation of this argument it, it is so loose and shaky it's not really about logic at all it's about something entirely different so it should it should also be said here that there are young people from conservative if you like conservative christian backgrounds who go to university and their views, whatever the discipline, whatever the subject, are routinely mocked and abused. They're often made to feel as though they don't quite belong. So it's not as though it's all working one way. This is one particular school, a fairly small one. And uh, answer me on this. I read that an enormous number of lawyers turned up for this meeting in British Columbia. Is that true? And if so, why the interest? Well, it's interesting because at the time the meeting started, there were just over 1,200 lawyers that had registered and were participating. It was a multi-venue meeting, so yeah. were participating and listening to the opening speeches. But 4,000 lawyers voted. So once the question was called, lawyers then could show up and cast a ballot had no one had already obviously made up their minds and had no intention of listening to any kind of public debate on yep. the issue and i think it, it largely was uh, initiated the the almost three thousand extra lawyers through social media and yep. were mobilized to just come and cast your vote um, so this was uh, in a sense we felt like there was a campaign that was being launched against Trinity Western University mm. in British Columbia you're being very moderate and gentle in your language um, of course, you're right. It was a campaign. Nobody, well, very few people were listening to reasoned argument. They'd already made up their minds, perhaps not particularly good minds at that. As always, a great pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.